My name is Benis Ameyao and I work with uh, scrap metals. Yes, um, I'm a collector. My interest is in everyday objects and also where it ends. That's the scrap yard or scrap site. So this particular scrap metals like utensils, uh, boots and knots, part of machines like uh, the carbonet, uh, toys, uh, part of a car, like the the tie and all the stuff. So the everyday objects I look forward to in terms of uh, producing my work. This is some things that I consider. How I go by my collection is I first of all make sketches, which is a key point to my practice. I first of all make a series of sketches pertaining to what I want to have or see within that particular site that's a scrap yard. So I go with my sketches or I go there with no sketch, but just to observe. So in terms of collecting, I consider the weight and the size of this uh, object I made mention, that's the utensil, the, the fan, the fridge doors, the helmet, the carbonet, and all these things that come together to, to make my work something meaningful. The limitation itself, it's you giving a boundary, let's say, to climb the stairs to the room, and that does it, getting to the door does it. But to me, I further interrogate uh, after you've entered the room. That's where my questioning starts, or my, that's where my practice starts. You have a milk tin with a mi milk in it. You buy it, you consume it. Afterwards, you have to throw the milk tin away. So it's been in the dustbin is where my process starts. The process of throwing it away, yeah, where it ends up. That's, that's a life cycle. So I further investigate about the life process of that particular object, that's the milk tin. So that's what I relate it to, the object I collect. That's the, the scrap metals, the carbonate, part of a machine and all this stuff. Going there, looking at this particular object, let's say the fridge door is being used at home, and at the end of it, let's say your, your fridge door gets pulled, you have to throw it away and get a different, a different door to fix. But you ask yourself, where does this particular fridge door, which is pulled, end up? You don't ask yourself that, but to me, I try to interrogate more about that particular thing. That's the fridge door. Where it ends up, I go there to collect this particular object. I call, I call them, uh, they have been abandoned at the particular site. So I bring it, try to purify them in a way yeah, which is pleasant to a space. What I mean by purification is like there's death when you are being made whole, free from sin, if I'm supposed to put it that way. So this, I see this uh, object, there's a scrap metals let's say the fridge door, at that particular site, as object that contains death. Mm, there's a lot of death because that come to contact with rust, sand, and sunlight, and also a lot of things that could make it age or fade away. The process of taking it and bringing it into the space is what I term as the purification. Color itself helps um, to break the rigidity in the scrap metals that I use as the everyday object. I introduce color to give it more flexibility in a way of breaking away the rigidity as the object itself represents. Negotiation is a very key factor, a key factor to my practice. The sense that without that, I can't get these pieces that you see now. That's uh, the compressor, the collector series. So negotiation is very important in terms of my practice because um, before I could get the scrap metals, that's the, the fridge doors, the carbonets, the, the helmets, the doors that you see now, 
in my peace, which come together to form my peace, has to go through negotiation process with the scrap dealers. So I have to, there's a means of exchange that goes into it within that particular time to get the scrap metals. That makes it the work. So negotiation, I can't take negotiation out of the work itself. It is stressful, but that's how I go by it because of the love I have for it. And also the background check, that's the music thing that I like. It also helped me like have this kind of joy in me in terms of working. A female uh, going to the site, that's a scrap site or the scrap yard to collect this particular object. There's a movement in and out. You're supposed to make time and so stressfulness itself it's something that to me it's something that I have put it behind for the love of, of the pieces I create. So after collecting my pieces there's a lot of decisions that come, comes into it. There's the welding, reverting. Welding itself helped me to bring together the scrap metals the plast both plastic and metal scraps that I collect. So in terms of producing these pieces, I make sketches, as said earlier. I make series of sketches, not in, let's say, 2D alone, but consider three-dimensional forms too. So that's where um, the welding process comes into play, and also the reverting, because there are a lot of techniques. So with this welding process, I adapt uh, this welding process from the scrap site. Because within the, that particular site, a lot of people sell the automobiles, like it's a site, site for scrap yards. So you get people who collect the scrap metals and people who help to bring together the scrap metals to form something like to produce maybe a, a metal door. So that process of creating the metal door, that's the welding process. That's what I also adapt as an artist to produce these pieces. How I, I came by the welding processes and the reverting processes and the various techniques involved in producing my work is from the space, that's from a magazine, and also not limiting myself to one particular site, automobile and also scrap sites. That's this particular space that I'm quite interested in. Initially, I was not having the intention of bringing into it a welding. I go collect play with it, that's um, arrange them on a, a surface to create an illusion. That was the initial thought. But as time went by, an idea of welding came into play because I had to learn from them. That's the scrap dealers and also the various activities that goes on. We have welding sites, we have uh, crushing sites. So going to them, I had to go as an apprentice, make sketches, get to, to them, know the kind of metal that could be welded and the metals that couldn't be possible to weld, like the plastic. So they, they took me through that processes and also looking at my sketches, it was something new to them to help me weld. So they were quite of, uh, surprised. They were like, ah, you this huge thing, how are you going to get it? And how are you going to, they are welding, but they don't know that this particular thing could be done or could be accomplished. So that gave me the, the opportunity to, to learn from them. That's the welding technique that they have and also how to bring things that are uh, weldable and things that couldn't be welded.